Hello there, lovely friends. Welcome back to Danzig Fitness. I'm so happy that you are joining me today for this feel good workout. So this is going to be a great workout to do maybe in the morning if you really want to start off your day feeling good about yourself and just get all those good vibes flowing. Or maybe you had a bad day and you need to unwind and just end the day on a good positive note. This workout is for you. So of course you can do it at any point in the day, at any time, during the week, any day, it doesn't matter. It's gonna be an awesome workout regardless. And you guys know me, I like to add a combination of both strengthening and stretching exercises. So we're gonna do it all, whole entire body, grab your mat and let's get started. Here we go guys. Okay friends, today we are going to start by sitting down on our heels with our legs open about hip width. So if this position is just not comfortable for you, that's okay, just sit on your bottom with your legs straight out in front of you, all right? Before we get started, as always, I want you guys to feel the longest spine you can make. The chest is open and wide. Of course, those shoulders are down and just place your hands on your thighs. Let's just take some nice, deep cleansing breaths just to get in touch with all of those center muscles. Taking a nice inhale, really allow your rib cage to expand. Exhale. And go for it again. Nice big inhale. And exhale. Good. Float your arms out to the side. Again, really pressing those shoulders down. Take a nice inhale here. And as you exhale, we're going to tuck the tail under. You're going to round your back, round your arms in front, and drop your chin to your chest. Inhale, stack the shoulders right on top of those hips. Exhale, reverse the curve. Squeezing your shoulder blades together, arching the upper back, looking up to the sky. And inhale, back to center. Let's do that again. Exhale, really scoop the belly, tuck the tail. This is a really nice stretch for those hip flexors. Feel a beautiful C curve in the spine. Inhale, sit up tall. Exhale, reverse your curve, really squeezing those shoulder blades together, opening up the chest. Look up and inhale back to center. Nice work, you guys. Float your arms down, drop your chin to your chest, and let's just gently circle the head all the way around. Oh, doesn't that feel amazing? Really let it go. Keep the tummy in tight. Core is always engaged. Reverse your circle. Good, and bring the head back up. Beautiful job. From here, let's shift our weight forward and just prop ourselves up into our tabletop position. Make sure you're not here, right? We gotta pull that belly button in and up to the spine neutral position. Again, friends, just get in touch with your breath. Hold this position and just take a nice inhale, allowing the rib cage to expand. And exhale. Good, do it again. Inhale. And exhale. Good, keep the breathing going. We're just gonna breathe naturally and I just want you to start circling those hips around. Don't think too much about it, otherwise it gets really, really complicated. Just circle, circle. So we're mainly passing through our cat and cow position. Good, this should feel so nice. If you're doing this in the morning, this is just a great way to wake up your spine. Reverse your circle, go the other way. And of course, if you're doing this at the end of the day, this is just a great way to sort of release any tension or stress from your day. Good job, you guys. Let's return back to our tabletop neutral spine and let's just check our four points. Without shifting or twisting, 
Tummy muscles engaged. Let's just release the right arm, but nothing else moves. Keep breathing naturally, shoulders away from the ears. Lower that right hand down. Same thing with the left. Energy shooting out of those fingertips. Left hand down, good. Let's do the leg. Right leg lengthens back. Try not to shift to the left. Tummy in tight. Longest leg you can make. And lower back down. And same thing with the left. Really imagine like someone is pulling that leg. So not only are you lifting it up, but you're really lengthening it out. Good. Lower that left leg back down. Let's tuck the toes under. Shift back into your downward facing dog. You can walk your hands a little bit back towards your feet to get into a comfortable position. Hold it here. Breathe, breathe, breathe. And let's lift the heels up and lower down. Again, heels up and down. Two more, lift and lower. Last one, lift and lower. Beautiful, from here, walk your feet out a little bit wider than your mat or a little bit wider than hip width. Walk your hands back so your weight is fully on your legs and feet. Cross your arms. Let the upper body just hang down and let's just gently sway side to side like a pendulum. Again, we're just breathing naturally, so focus on that breath and just let the body sway. Good, let's steady the body. Place the palms on the floor. We're going to add in a twist by reaching up with that right arm. Fingertips reaching for the stars. Good, breathe, breathe, breathe. And right hand down, other way. Twist, reach up, left arm. Good, and left hand down from here. Let's bend the knees and straighten and bend and stretch. Two more times, bend and stretch. One more, bend and stretch. Good job, my friends. Very, very nice. Take your time rolling up through the spine, bone by bone by bone. Walk those feet back in. Good work. And let's lay down on the mat. So just walk it forward. Come down. Let's lengthen the legs. Lengthen the arms. Scoop the belly. Tuck the tail. And make your way down. Good. Let's just take a moment, place your arms by your sides, and let's come to our home base position. So you're just going to hug your legs, find your breath, and just gently rock the legs side to side just to massage out that lower back. And steady the legs. And now let's turn the head side to side just to release any tension in the neck. Steady the head, place your hands on your knees and really let your arms do the majority of the work. Your arms are just gonna stir your legs around. This is such a nice hip release. I do this all the time. And maybe reverse it or just go whichever way feels best for you. Good work, my friends. All right. Bring those legs together, place the feet down, lengthen the legs out, and we're gonna go right for a roll-up exercise. So first, reach your fingertips to the sky, then continue the arc with the arm, but don't let this happen, right? We don't want the back to arch, so the arms are a few inches off the floor, spine is in neutral, rib cage is closed. Here we go, my friends. Take a nice big inhale. Reach your fingertips up to the sky. Tuck your chin. Reach towards your feet. Exhale, peel the spine off the mat and round over those legs. 
nose to the knees. Let's start making our way down. Really scoop the tummy, tuck the tail. Make your way down, go slow, stay in control. Boom, by boom, by boom. And continue the arc with the arms. And again, inhale. Tuck the chin. Exhale, peel the spine, round over those legs. Nose to the knees. Good work, start making your way down, but we're going to take a pause. Once you get to your halfway point, hang out here. Round your arms like you're holding a big beach ball. Flex those feet up nice and high, and let's go for some pulses. Down, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Give me eight more. We're just breathing naturally. Chest open, shoulders down, and five. Six, seven, eight. Good. Use your core. Sit up tall. Keep those feet flexed. Inhale. Exhale. Forward fold. Grab onto your toes if you can reach them. Drop the head down. Nice and heavy. Nose to your knees. Good. And if you need to, give your shoulders a little shimmy shake. Give the head a shake. And let's come up just enough to make our beautiful flat back. Keep those feet nice and flexed. Press the shoulders down. You can close your eyes if you want. You can drop your head back if you want. Just take some nice deep breaths here. Good. And release the back. Release the head over those legs. And roll up through the spine. Good. From here, release the arms. We're going to flip the palms in so they're facing one another. Again, scoop the belly, tuck the tail, get to your halfway point. Let's inhale, lift the arms up. Exhale, lower the arms down. Again, inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. Inhale, up. Exhale down, good. Let's add in a twist. Inhale, lift. Exhale, twist right. Inhale, lift. Exhale, twist left. Inhale, lift. Exhale, twist right. Inhale, lift. Last one, twist left. Beautiful. Inhale, arms up. Bring your arms back to center. Use your core to roll up. Let's place the palms on the floor behind our pelvis. Bend your knees, feet flat on the floor, and let's lift up into our reverse tabletop. We're gonna hang out here for a little bit, so if it's more comfortable for you to drop your head all the way back, let it go. Really engaging the backs of the legs, those hamstrings and glutes are working hard. In fact, the whole back of the body is working hard here. Feel a straight line from your knees to your shoulders. And if your head is back, lift your head up so you can see those thighs and knees. Keep your hips super level. And let's just release the right leg. Shin parallel to the ceiling. Keep both sides lifting up nice and high. We don't want to dip down, right? Lower that foot down. Let's go left leg. Try not to shift or twist. And lower down. Good. Make sure you're breathing. I don't want anyone turning blue and passing out on me. And lower down. Left leg up. And lower down. Good job, you guys. From here, lower the pelvis back down onto the mat. Open your legs a little bit wider than hip width, or a little bit wider than your mat. Feet are flat on the floor, so we have a nice wide stance. Sit up nice and tall, shoulders stacked right above those hips, and let's go for some hinges. Fingertips on the floor. Back is super tall and long. We are going to hinge back and lift up. Hinge it back and lift up. Good. So we're not tucking, right? 
We are staying long and just reclining back. So it's a little bit harder, a little bit more challenging for the core. Good, let's go one more. We're gonna hold it here. Float the arms out to the side and let's circle. Good, nice dynamic circles, lots of energy in those arms. Breathe and reverse your circle. Good, chest is open and wide, shoulders are down, back is long. Good, and bring your arms to center, bring your feet back in, hands go behind the pelvis again, we're gonna lift back up to that reverse tabletop. Squeeze the glutes, straight line from your knees to your shoulders. Again, we're gonna hang out here, so if you want, drop the head back and breathe. Good, if your head is back, lift the head up and let's go for some heel lifts. Lift both heels up, lower down. And two, three, four, five, and six, and seven. Last one, eight. Beautiful job, you guys. Lower the pelvis back down. Squeeze those legs together. Sit up tall for a moment. Let's do some genie abs, one of my favorites. Cross the arms, press the shoulders down. Inhale, scoop the belly. Exhale, tuck the tail. Go to your halfway point. Let's do one leg at a time. We tap the right knee to the arms. Lower down. Left. Right. Left. And right. Left. And right. And left. Good job. Squeeze those legs together, both legs at the same time. Lift. Good. I would exhale on the in. Inhale on the down. Good. Four more. Three. Two. Last one. Beautiful job, my friends. Use your core. Sit up tall. Let's take a moment, lengthen those legs out, flex the feet, inhale, arms up. And again, fold the body in half, exhale. Good, grab onto those feet. If you need to, give the shoulders a shake. Give the head a turn side to side. And let's go back to that beautiful flat back. Really, really flex up those feet. Press the shoulders down. Close your eyes if you want. Drop your head back if you want. Take some nice deep breaths. Good, and release the back, release the head over the legs, nose to the knees and roll it on up. So good, you guys. All right, let's go for another half rollback exercise. We're going to get into a teaser. So we're gonna do a nice little teaser progression for you. So when you guys are ready, squeeze those legs together, lengthen your arms out, inhale, scoop the belly, exhale, tuck the tail, take your half roll back, and let's do one limb at a time. Squeeze the legs, super, super tight. Don't lose that connection. Inhale, release just your right leg, but still squeezing, squeezing. Exhale, lower down. Now left leg, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, down. Now we do the arms, right arm up, right next to the ear. Exhale, down, and left arm. Good, let's do that again. Same thing, right leg long. Long, 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 right? Energy shooting out of those toes. Left leg long, longest leg you can make, even if you can't stretch it all the way. Always striving for the longest lines. And now we go left. Good. Let's do just the right side. Right arm, right leg. And lower down. Same thing, left side. Inhale up, exhale down. Good, one more time, right side. And left. 
left side. Good job, you guys. Stick with me. Don't you dare give up. Keep squeezing those legs. Let's do both legs together. Woo! And down. Both arms together. Keep the shoulders down. Good. And again, lengthen your legs. If you can't stretch all the way, just do this, right? Strive to stretch them as long as you can. Lift the arms up. Press the shoulders down. Feel that opposition. Good. Let's go one more time. Just the legs. And down, just the arms. And here comes the fun one. We can do it. Don't give up. Let's go for it. Everything up. Everything down. Woo! Three more. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Woo! One more, one more. Inhale up. And exhale down. Yes! Good job, you guys. Use your core. Sit up tall. Float those arms down. Let's open up to our butterfly position just to release those hips. Grab onto the ankles, spine nice and tall. Take a nice inhale here. And as you exhale, your arms are gonna help pull your body down towards the floor. Keep breathing. And again, if you feel like you need it, you can shake out the shoulders. Shake out the head. Good. Take your time rolling up sequentially through the spine. Stack the shoulders right on top of the hips. Head comes up last. And let's drop that head back one last time. And head comes back up. So good, you guys. All right. Let's lengthen the legs out. Let's make our way back down onto our mats. So. Legs are long, arms are long. Take that belly button, pull it in and up. So we have this nice little scoop in the abdominals. Tuck your tail under, take your time. Don't rush, challenge yourself by going slow, slow, slow. And just place your arms by your sides. Okay, friends, let's return back to that same home base position we did earlier. So just hug your legs. And this is really a moment for you to do whatever you feel like your body needs. You can rock the legs, you can turn the head, or you can do that nice stir, whatever you need here. Okay guys, let's get more into that core. So let's do this one. We're gonna go for a single leg variation. Lace up your fingers, hands go behind the head. Make sure those elbows are wide, right? We never want to tug or pull on the head, neck, and shoulders. Not a good thing. When you're ready, curl it on up, right? Head, neck, and shoulders should be off the mat, yeah? A lot of times we forget about our shoulders, and I just see people like this. That puts so much pressure on your neck, yeah? So you really use that core. Get your shoulders off the mat. Let's go with the right leg only. Right leg out. Exhale in. Inhale out. Exhale in. Keep going. Three. And in. And four. Good. Four more. And lengthen. Bring it in. Keep imprinting your spine. That back should not arch. Out. In. Out. Left leg. Eight times. Long leg. Bring it in. And inhale. Exhale in, and three, and in, and four, good. Keep going, and five, and six, and seven, last one, eight. So good, you guys. Hands on the shins, take a moment, place the head down, rock the knees, rock the head, stir the legs, whatever your body needs. And let's go right into variation number two. As I said, the hands are on the shins. When you're ready, curl up the head, neck, and shoulders. Feel that nice imprint. No arching of the back. Let's just do the right side, just like we did earlier. Right leg, right arm. We inhale out. Exhale, bring it in. Same thing left. Make the longest line from fingertips to toes. And again, right. Exhale in, 
and left, inhale out, exhale in, four more, right side long, bring it in, and left, and in, and right, and in, and last time left. Beautiful job, friends. Take a moment, come back to your home base, rock the knees, rock the head, or stir those legs. Good work. All right, guys. From here, let's lengthen the legs up. We're going to externally rotate the legs. You can flex the feet if that's more comfortable for you, or just keep them pointed. We're gonna sit on our hands for this one just to ensure that our back is not arching. So when you're ready, you're gonna curl up your head, neck, and shoulders off the mat. Feel that spine imprinting. Let's lead with the right leg. We go, right leg down, left leg down, right leg up, woo, left leg up. Keep leading with the right, down, and down, and up, and up. Two more times, down, and down, and up, and up. Last time, leading with the right, and then you guessed it, four times leading with the left. You can do it, down, and down, and up, and up, and again, down, and down, and up, good. Longest legs, really lengthen, lower, and lift, good. One more, you can do it, down, and down, and up. Very nice, good job, you guys. Return to your home base. Take some nice deep breaths, whatever you need. Good job, all right. Let's go to that same arm position. So sitting on your hands again, lengthen the legs up. Let's keep them in the parallel line for this one. I want you guys to cross your right leg in front of the left and then bend the knees just to add more weight. Again, we're curling up the head, neck and shoulders. Feel that strong imprint and we lower the legs down. Inhale, exhale up. Again, lower down and up. Inhale down and up and down. Good work. Four more. Be sure you're pressing your whole back into the mat. If you feel your back arching, you're probably lowering your legs a little too far, so only go as far as your core will support. Good, guys. We have one more. Beautiful. From here, lower the head back down onto the mat, and I want you to grab on to your ankles. We're just going to take a moment here to feel that nice stretch. You're going to feel this in your hips and glute area. Breathe, breathe, breathe. You really want to try to cross those legs, pulling your feet or your ankles as close to you as you can. I know this makes, makes us feel like a human pretzel, right? Good. Breathe nice and deep. And now let's place our arms on the floor in a T position. Everyone should have their right leg on the top, which means we tilt the legs to the left. Go slow, keep the legs twisted in this pretzel position. Lower down super gently. And if you want, turn your head to the right, just to increase that twist a little bit more. Take some deep breaths, really relax the body into the floor. Good. Bring your head back to center. All right, here's the tricky part. Keep your legs twisted. Let your arms help you. Press them down into the floor. Engage your core and bring those legs back to center. Good work, you guys. Let's swap legs. Left leg in the front. Legs are parallel. Bend those knees. Place your hands underneath your bottom. Curl up the head, neck, and shoulders. Feel that nice, strong imprint. And we inhale down, exhale up, down, 
then up. Keep going. Four more. Last two. And last one. Good job, you guys. Lower the head down. And now the legs are going to be a little bit more externally rotated because we're going to grab onto those ankles and just try to pull your ankles closer to your body. Breathe, breathe, breathe. You should feel a nice little stretch within those hip joints. Good, and let's take the arms on the floor, out to the side like a T, and when you're ready, start tilting your legs to the right. Go slow, try not to make any noise, place your legs down super gently. Once you make it down there, turn your head to the left if that feels good for you. Let your body melt into the floor, take some nice deep breaths. Good, and return your head back to center. Engage your core, press your arms down, lift the legs back up. Good work, you guys, all right. Unpretzel your legs and come back to your whole base position. Rock the knees, rock the head, or stir those legs. Good job, you guys. All right, let's get a little bit more into the legs and glutes now. So let's start by lengthening our legs nice and long on our mat. When you're ready, you're gonna curl up your head, neck, and shoulders, float your arms off the floor, and use your core to roll up just enough so you can prop yourself up on your forearms, okay? Let's bend the left leg, so really root your left foot down into the mat as your anchor. Take your right foot, we're gonna flex it, and we're gonna externally rotate that right leg from the hip joint. So as much as you can, your right toes and kneecap are facing out to the side. Don't get slouchy on me, push the floor away. We're sitting up nice and tall. We're gonna lift the right leg up in three and go down in one. Here we go, friends. Up one, up two, up three, down in one. Again, lift, two, three, down in one. Go again, three, and good. Keep the rotation in the leg, inner thigh is working hard. Lift, two, three, down in one, and lift, and two, and three, down in one. Two more times. Keep the rotation, and down, last time. Two, three, down in one. Good job, you guys. Do a little check, make sure you're not sinking into the floor. Lift your right leg up at about a 45 degree angle. Make sure it's really, really turned out, and let's go into teeny tiny pulses. Not a big range of motion, but it burns, doesn't it? Yes, it does, we love it. Good, really focus on the inner thigh, doing the majority of the lifting. We don't want to grip in these quad muscles. Yes, your quads are working to some extent, but if you focus on lifting from underneath, then your quads won't grip, right? That's how we get long, lean muscles. We never want to grip the muscles. We always want to lengthen, lengthen, lengthen. Woo, okay, inner thigh on fire. Let's take a little pause. We're gonna swing the leg open to the side and back to center, yes. So your core has to be so engaged because if it's not, then this is gonna happen, right? We don't want that to happen. So just the leg is moving, everything else is really isolating. Good, two more. Last one. Good, and let's lower the right foot down. Lengthen the left leg out. Do your little check, push the floor away, sitting up tall, flex the left foot, externally rotate the left leg. Here we go, friends, up in three, down in one, lift, two, three, and down. Good, so not only are we strengthening the leg, but we're also getting this really beautiful stretch. We love it. Keep going, lift, and two, and three, take it down. 
Good, nice, shoulders down, sit up tall. Four more, up, up, up. And lift from the inner thigh. Good, two more. Keep the rotation, last one. Good, lower down, lift 45 degrees. Sit up tall, pulse, 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 teeny tiny pulses. Good, really feel the energy just shooting out of that heel. Longest leg you can make, always stretching and lengthening, never tightening and gripping. Good, and we're breathing, and smiling, and thinking happy thoughts. Good, keep going you guys. Really focusing on lifting from underneath. Good, take a little pause, and I'm probably gonna kick my plant as I always do, yep, and bring it back. And open side, and bring it back. Good, tummy in tight here. Good, and open. Good guys, two more. And last one, sorry plant. Yes, I just apologized to my plant. <laughs> Lower the foot down, lengthen the legs out. From here, friends, again, do your little check, make sure you're not here, push the floor away, really lifting up out of the floor. We're going to release the arms, but we're not gonna move anything else because we have really strong cores. Yes, yes we do. Here we go, release your arms. Don't move, hold, breathe. Life is good, we always, always, always have so much to be thankful for. So think about those things when you're feeling down. Good, stay, stay, stay. My core is shaking like crazy. I hope yours is too. It just means it's working. It's okay, it's gonna be all right. We love the shake. Enjoy the shake, embrace the shake. Ah! Stay, stay, stay for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, slowly lower down, woo, oh boy, ah. and place your arms by your sides, good job you guys, all right, let's come back to our home base position, we're going to do a few more exercises on our back, and then we're going to flip over onto the bellies, okay, rock the knees, rock the head, stir those legs, whatever you need, all right, let's go for some shoulder bridges. We're gonna get those glutes fired up now. So, feet flat on the floor, legs are hip width apart, arms are by your sides. When you're ready, you're gonna tuck your tailbone under, so we're imprinting that spine, super important. Then press into the floor equally with both feet, squeeze those buns, lift the glutes off the mat. So, when we are in this shoulder bridge position, guys, Make sure you're not up so high that your back is arched. This is wrong, right? It's too high. We need to be here, straight diagonal line from the tips of the knees all the way to those shoulders, okay? Hamstrings are working, glutes are working, the entire core is working, quads are working a little bit. Let's release the arms, flip the palms to face in, and let's just go for some pulses right off the bat. Here we go, guys. Dip down and up. Two, three, four, five, good, six, seven. Keep going, we're really squeezing the glutes at the top of each lift. Squeeze, squeeze, good, and two more rounds. Up, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, good. Give me eight more. Lift, squeeze. Three, four, five, six, seven, hold eight. From here, lower your arms down. Really let your arms help you. Press them strongly into the floor, just as we did before in our reverse tabletop position. I want you to release one leg. I think it was the tabletop position, was it? I can't even remember. Does anyone else have trouble thinking backwards? Like what you just did? <laughs> I think I need to take more ginkgo biloba. Is that what it is for memory? Oh my goodness. I'm only 35. Lower the foot down. 
Make sure the hips are level. Now we're gonna do the same thing with the left leg. Release it. Shin parallel to the ceiling. Good, make sure you're really pressing into the floor with that supporting foot. Hips should be level, hold it here, breathe. And lower the left foot down. Let's release the right leg once again, and this time if you want, lengthen up your leg all the way. You can turn it out if you're like me. If you're a ballerina and everything just has to be pointed and turned out, that's kind of the way it goes. Good, hold, 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 reach up to the sky. Hips are nice and high. Lower the right foot down. Let's go left leg last time. You can keep it bent or lengthen it up. Turn it out, point the foot, flex the foot. You have so many options. You decide whichever option is best for you. Hold it, hold it, hold it, breathe. Woo, everything's shaking again. The shaking has kicked in again. Good, bend the knee, lower the foot down. Make sure your hips are nice and level. Do a little check. You can even take your hands, place them on your hips. Really squeeze those buns. And take your time rolling down sequentially. Boom, bang, boom, bang, boom. Pass through your imprint. Bring your spine back to neutral. Bring the knees into the chest. Lengthen your legs, flex the feet, let's forward fold. If you can reach your toes, awesome. If not, just place your hands wherever you can reach comfortably. Curl up the head, neck, and shoulders if you want. Ah. Hold, 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 breathe. Good. Lower the head down if it's up and let's open up to our straddle split. Let's all take the hands on the inner thighs and just take this moment to circle the feet around just to get some nice mobility in the ankles. Good job, you guys. Very slowly close the legs back in. And let's go for our scissors and then we'll flip over onto the bellies. Legs are turned out. Remember, you can flex the feet if that feels better for you. Grab onto your right leg, wherever is most comfortable for you. Curl up the head, neck, and shoulders. Lower the left leg down to the floor gently. Here we go, friends, we're slicing. Change it one, change two, change three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, of course, we're gonna go for eight more. Keep going, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Beautiful job, friends. Come back to your home base, whatever you need. Rock the knees, rock the head, or stir those legs. Good, and when you're ready, Flip over onto the bellies. Let's work the back of the body a little bit more so we don't have any sort of imbalance. Okay, let's stretch out those abdominals. What do you say? Open your legs about the width of your mat or a little bit wider than hip width. Push the floor away. Really lengthening out your center. Make sure this doesn't happen, right? Shoulders down. If it feels good for you, you can drop your head back. Good. And let's slowly lower the body back down. Okay, guys. Keep your legs where they are. Take your hands and place them directly under your shoulders. Elbows are shooting straight back. We're pressing the pubic bone down, which causes those glutes to engage. We're pulling the belly button up to the spine. Once you have that engagement, do not lose it. We are going to push the floor away. Teeny tiny back extension, right? We're gonna ease into it, little baby back extension. Keep that core engagement, release your hands. Good. Float the arms out to the side like a T. We're gonna inhale, lower the fingertips down. Exhale, lift the arms up, squeezing those shoulder blades together. 
Again, inhale, lower. Exhale, squeeze. Inhale, lower. Exhale, squeeze. Four more. And three. And two. And last one. Good work, you guys. Bend the arms, hands are under the shoulders, and slowly lower the body back down. Take a moment, just rock the hips side to side to release the back. And let's go for variation number two. We're gonna amp it up a little bit. All right, here we go again. Pubic bone down, squeeze those glutes, belly button in and up, and push the floor away. Baby back extension again. Release the hands. Lengthen the arms out to the side like a T, but then we're gonna sweep them behind us, which may allow us woo, to lift up a little bit higher. Good. Hold it here. Let's float the right leg up and lower. And left. And lower. Good. Right. And down. And left. And down. Good. Don't lose that core engagement. Belly button in and up. Two more. Last one. Good job, you guys. Bend the arms and lower the body back down. Beautiful. Shake it out. Rock those hips side to side. Good job, you guys. All right. What do you say we go for a little swim? It's always fun to go for a swim. So bring your legs together nice and tight. Let's sweep our arms by our sides. Palms are facing in towards your body. Your face is sort of just hovering the mat here. Get that core engagement, right? Most important thing. Otherwise we get all this lower back discomfort, which we do not want. So pubic bone down, squeeze the glutes, belly button in and up. We're gonna lift up into our back extension and we're gonna float the legs off the floor. Let's swim. Here we go, guys. And we flutter the legs for eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and lower down. Beautiful. From here, let's go onto the forearms. Tuck your toes under, and you're gonna pull your belly button into your spine even more, and lift up into your forearm plank. We're just gonna hold it here. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Feel your body completely parallel to the floor. Good job, you guys. Hold it. And slowly lower your center back down onto the mat. Sweep your arms around by your sides. Lift up into your back extension. Float the legs off the floor. And we swim again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good. Again, go onto those forearms. You can lace up the fingers or palms on the floor, whichever version is good for you. Tuck the toes and lift up. Hold it here. Make sure your head and neck are in the same line as your spine, right? So we don't want this to happen with the head or we don't want this to happen, right? We want it to be in one seamless line. Stay, 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 breathe. Good job, you guys. Hold. And lower the knees down to the mat. Let's go into a hamstring curl. So you're really trying to bring your heels to your bottom. Tuck the toes and lift back up to your plank. We go again, lower the knees. Hamstring curl. Tuck the toes and lift. Two more, down. Curl, tuck, lift, last one, down. Hamstring curl, tuck the toes and lift. Beautiful job, you guys. Lower your body down, and let's push back, woo, into our child's pose. 
Good, arms nice and long in front. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Good, and stay low, just walk your way to the right. And stay low, take your time, walk your way to the left. And roll up through the spine. Okay, friends, stick with me. We're almost there. I told you we're going to do a full class, full body workout. So let's do a quick little side series. And then, of course, we'll finish with some fun little Pilates dances. Okay, so get down on your side. It doesn't matter which side. Of course, we're gonna do both sides. So pick a side, any side, and you can either prop your head up on your hand, or if it's more comfortable for you, stretch out your arm and just rest your head on your arm. I'm gonna do this one. This one is more comfortable for me. And make sure you situate your legs slightly in front of your torso, right? When we're doing any sort of side laying series, never, ever, ever lay in a straight line because you will be rocking and rolling all over the place. It's just gonna make the exercises impossible, right? I consider myself super, super strong and even I start with my legs a little bit in front, okay? It's just better, you'll be able to benefit from all the exercises that much more. Okay, so once we get our legs in place, I want you to really focus on trying to lift up out of the floor. Right? I don't know if you guys can see a difference. I'm gonna to try to exaggerate this as much as I can, but we don't wanna just sort of like, all of my energy is just kind of sinking down into the floor, right? Now see if you can see the difference. Now I'm going to lift up out of the floor, right? I'm just holding myself, okay? So that's what we wanna do. So here we go, friends. Take your top leg. We're gonna bring the knee in, extend your leg in front of you and flex the foot. Let's go for some leg lifts. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is for the outer thighs. Seven and eight. Good job. Point the foot. Bring it back into your jazz passe. Now let's get some hip mobility going. We're going to externally rotate and then turn it in. Turn it out. Turn it in. Three, in, and four. Good, really rotating. And four more. Rotate, and down, and rotate, and down, and rotate. Good. Let's hold this last one. Bottom leg moves. Inner thigh lifts the leg up. Woo, and lift. And three. And four, five, six, seven, and eight. So good, you guys. From here, take your top leg. Extend it as long as you possibly can. Good. Let's actually take a moment. Grab onto it. Pull your leg as close to your body as you can. Stretch it out. Good. And let's go for some eight kicks. We lower down with control and then we kick it quick. Lower down slowly. Kick up two. And three. Slowly kick up four. Keep going. Five. Six. Seven. And last one, eight. Nice job, you guys. Lovely. All right, pick your body up, swing your legs around. Of course, we have to even things out. Let's do that same exact thing on the other side. Okay, so again, legs in front. Lift up out of the floor. Don't sink. 
Top knee comes in. Stretch it out, flex. And we go for eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Bend the knee in, point the foot. Externally rotate, lower down. Two, three, and four. Keep going, five, and six, and seven, woo, one's on fire, and eight. Good, hold it here, bottom leg lifts.
bend the left knee. Place your left knee, left shin on the mat. Walk your hands forward. Lift up your right leg. And we pulse. Good. No extra movement in the body. Keep your center nice and stable. Just that leg is moving. Keep pulsing. Keep breathing. And bend your right knee. Again, friends, tuck those toes under. Push back into your downward dog. Walk the hands back towards the feet. Bend your knees if you have to. And again, take your time rolling up through the spine. Good. And if you need to, make a little adjustment. Take a step back so you're standing at the top of your mat once again. And let's go for another one. Here we go, friends. Body is so long and tall. Take a nice deep breath. And again, drop your chin down. Roll it down, no tension in the body. You can shake it out if you need to. Bend your knees if you need to. Palms on the floor, again, walk those hands out. High plank. Good. Hold it here. Take a nice deep breath. And let's bend the knees, shift your weight back. Shoot it straight out. Bring your right knee to your right elbow. And again, bend both knees, shift back, shoot it out, left knee to left elbow, keep going, shift back, and shoot it out, right knee to right elbow, shift back, and shoot it out, left knee to left elbow, four more guys, keep going, shift. Knee to elbow, and shift. Knee to elbow, and shift. Knee to elbow, last one. Knee to elbow, good job you guys. From here, lower the knees down. Let's push back into our child's pose once again. Breathe. And take your time rolling up through the spine. Sitting up nice and tall. If you want, you can stretch your legs long in front if this position bothers you. Let's take that nice head roll, just like we did in the beginning of class. Core engaged, shoulders down, no tension, drop the head. Circle around, really take your time. Don't cut any corners. Once you make it down, reverse your circle. Good job, friends. And bring the head back up. Open the arms nice and wide. Stretch your fingers apart. Palms facing the wall in front of you. Take a nice deep breath and give yourself the biggest hug ever. You deserve it. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. I hope this movement made you feel so good inside. Don't forget to leave a comment for me down below. You know what to do. Thumbs up so I know you guys completed this workout. And please subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And don't forget to hit that little bell icon so you're always notified every time I upload a new workout. I love you guys. Mwah. Sending so much love and light your way. Take care of you, and I'll see you guys in the next one. All right? Bye!